So, Mic check one, two. Yeah, perfect, right. perfect. All right, so go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Jason, and I have the uh, the Gashi Mart store on the side of the track. Uh, okay. We sell everything Japanese related. It's a Japanese culture store. Cool, cool. So we have snacks, candies, hats, apparel, flags, a lot of cool stuff over there. That's awesome. Yeah, okay. man. Um, and I would assume that this is not the first time at a drift event. Oh, not at all. Not at all. Um, we've been to mostly, mostly all. Yep, nope, that's that's the shop right there. There it is. <laughs> all the snacks, treats, all that good stuff. But yeah, man, we've been with uh, Chris all year. We started um, this year actually, but um, we go to mostly every event that Chris has. Um, you know, he brings a great crowd out, so you know we support and come out. But we go to mostly all all car events, car shows, drift shows, um, anything car related, especially Japanese. We're there. That's awesome. Um, how did the idea get started of just doing a uh, Japanese style thing? Well, um, we import cars from Japan, Nostalgic Autosports, and we kind of wanted to bring something to the events instead of just posting a car and just standing up. So we try to bring some culture, and that's where the Gashi Mart kind of started to promote the business. So um, we bring a car from Japan to your door two months, and um, you know, listen to wonderful V8s at the same time. <laughs> But yeah, so um, yeah, just bring in the the culture with the cars, and that's what we do pretty much. Yeah. Bridge that gap. Sorry, this one is very loud, so we have to kind of stop. A lot of ball eagles. Yeah. <laughs> I think you should invest in hearing aids. That is, I'm yeah. gonna have that. Yes. That's gonna be maybe Japanese in a couple yeah, of years. Japanese bring them over from Japan. <laughs> cool. Yeah. <laughs> it may be different. You never know. <laughs> you never know. Your own customized uh, JDM uh, hearing aids. Yeah, man. Different colors, different shapes, different Light, sizes. Lights, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be pretty cool. So, um, being that you also import cars, um, what is the Japanese car that you sell or import the most? Uh, or the one that's mostly re the most requested car? Uh, Skyline, of course. You know, um, R32 is the most asked for a car. But um, lately, lately we get a lot of um, inquiries about the JZX 100s. You know, it's a beautiful car, a great platform. Yeah. Um, so that's another one. But Supras, you know, Mark IV Supras is, really? yeah, they just became legal not too long ago. So that's oh, right. They're, that's right. They're that's big, nice. yeah, big market for that. <clears throat> And it kind of, you know, with the new Supra just came out, so it kind of, you know, yeah. puts an eye on it, too, because people want that old nostalgic, yeah. you know, feel. And they want it from the motherland. Exactly, exactly. Right, right, right. That was my biggest thing, man, getting the car from motherland. That's, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. I just got a Laurel in, actually. Um, that's going to be the car that we're going to build, the business car, um, to get on the track here and, you know, so dance with the friends. A C33? Yeah, C33, uh, yep. Lovely car. I yeah, love man. Uh, I love the no B pillar. That's probably why I like it the most. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe dangerous, but it looks yeah, nice. Yeah, <laughs> it, it looks pretty dope. It looks dope. Yeah. Um, you got a driver lined up? Um, driver? No, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be the driver. Okay. Yeah, I hope, you know, we're going to start small. And then okay. go very fast. Okay. That's the plan. Uh, just be careful. You don't want to go too crazy with the vehicle. And then you have a, perhaps, you could argue it could be a higher learning curve. Yeah. Just to get accustomed to it. Mm -hmm. But there's many different avenues to go about it. You could either get like a really properly set up car that's really crazy, really intense, uh -huh. and you could just really pick it up right fast. Yeah. Or it could be something where it's like too complicated and then it becomes a much harder experience for you to like learn from. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes it's sort of beneficial to you to start with a very basic vehicle. Mm -hmm. So that way you sort of learn the ropes, you learn the basics of it, and then you build up on it. But everybody's different. Everybody learns yeah. different. So definitely just feel it out how you feel. I mean, if you have the opportunity to just get into a car that's properly set up, go for it. Try it out. Mm -hmm. and, and if you pick it up fast, then start off there. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I plan to, to stock angle, you know, not too much power. I'm looking for like 300 horsepower. So, you know, I really want to start with a, 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 a good platform, you know. Something that's reliable is the most, most thing. Just seat time is what I'm worried about, you know. Right. So not too much power, not too much crazy, you know, aftermarket angle. Just a hydro and um, a reliable car pretty much what we're shooting for. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's going on down here? Oh. By the way, RB20 um, sprockets are the hardest thing to get off. Really? I broke two oil pumps. 
Oh, no. uh, my car and the, and another engine I'm building right now. It's it's the worst thing in the world. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> are, are, you talking, are you talking about RB20s in general? RB20, RB25. I mean, I'm assuming 26 too. That that collar just it just gets stuck on there. 25 years old, you know. The it's yeah, getting hot, cold, hot, cold. Eventually, yes. it just kind of practically Seasons. welds itself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you have any questions? Ben? Uh, it's just I just find it a little bit funny how the oiling issues with the RBs. Yeah, it's that it's not really known about for some reason. Mm -hmm. But if you know about it, it's a bit crazy to think like how prevalent, how widespread it is. Yeah, throughout yeah. the RB line of, of engines. Mm -hmm. and I heard the RB25 more though. The, the RB25 more. Yeah, right? I heard it yeah. has that oil issue more than a 20. From what I heard, I don't yeah. know. You know, um, I go off my friend Leo. He has brake bank. Um, shout out to them. But he has a RB20 that he rips on E85. It's the blue skyline you see. Yeah, yeah. And I mean that car's been taking a beating for quite yeah. a while now. Yeah. You know? So I'm I like the RB twenty. Good platform, strong, strong block, you know. Yeah. Just keep an eye out on the oil, I guess, yes, right? Exactly. Keep out oil pressure. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Most important. Uh so where can we find you on the internet? Uh nostalgicautosports.com. Um same thing as our Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. Um and the Gashi Mart as well. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah man, follow us, follow back. Show love, support, For sure. all that good stuff. Yeah, the Gashi Mart is D A G A S H I M A R T. The Gashi Mart. Ah, okay. Yeah, that, cool. and shout out Chris. Wonderful event, man. Thank you for having us every single time, man. You're amazing, bro. Thank you guys, and I love it. All right. Awesome. That's a wrap. Shout out. See you around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Boom. Oh boy. Yeah. Thank you for coming by, man. Thank you guys. Take care. I appreciate it, man.